Anyway, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Simi Arif. I hope you can see on the screens because I can't. Uh, welcome to the annual Sunday Times Literary Awards. This year marks the 34th anniversary of non-fiction awards, which have, over three decades, showcased the most astute, critical, and incisive non-fiction writing in South Africa. Uh, we would like to thank our partners, Exclusive Books. So just a quick round of applause for Exclusive Books. And, and we would like to thank our sponsors, Diageo and the Maros Arch Gallery. So another round of applause. As we gather here today to celebrate our 34 years of the Sunday Times Literary Award, as well as reflect on 30 years of democracy in South Africa, it is essential to remember not only our political achievements, but also the cultural foundations that support our democratic society. One of the most significant elements of this foundation is the role of books and reading. It is also for this reason that it is one of the pillars of the Sunday Times newspaper. In a nation that has undergone profound transformation, the importance of promoting and championing a culture of reading cannot be overstated. So it's a great honor for us at Exclusive Books uh, to, to partner with the Sunday Times for the Literary Awards. Um, it's, it's something, obviously, we've been, <coughs> Exclusive Books has been around for 73 years. Um, and uh, so we've got a long history in books and, and, and storytelling and, and, and book, book selling. So we are very proud to be associated with, with yourselves and, and, and functions like this. Lastly, I'd like to congratulate all the authors, the long list authors, um, you know, all of you, and then the whittle down to the short list. I, I would like to say, if you stop writing, uh, you're not gonna, I'm not gonna be on this stage ever again. The wonderful literary tradition both fiction and non-fiction in our country, which stretches back in the indigenous Kosa-speaking languages to the 19th century, in Afrikaans to the early 20th century, and in English since, since, since Pringle, uh, the, the writing of fiction and non-fiction. We celebrate that. The 23rd winner of the Fiction Prize is The Bitterness of Olives, Andrew Brown. Uh, and the winner of the 35th, 34th Non-Fiction Award goes to Winnie and Nelson, Portrait of a Marriage by Johnny Steinberg, Jonathan Ball Publishers. And I have to say that I had a little bit of a hint that it was going to be bigger and better than it's been for something like 500 years. And it is. So we're in the middle of Melrose Arch. Um, everybody is buzzing, but that's because of the wine. Um, Edwin Cameron did the first um, speech that we've had at the Sunday Times Awards for ages and now the wine is flowing the authors are dazed and dazzled and it is absolutely fantastic books are my favorite thing and I think the Sunday Times and exclusive books have just gone out on a limb and produced something that is absolutely wonderful what a celebration the Sunday Times Book Awards always is but tonight especially and we are so proud of our authors, so delighted to drink a toast to them. And as exclusive books, we love selling them. So come and buy. And we're so excited tonight to be celebrating Jared Thompson's The Creative Institute for Dying. Um, go Jared! But um, honestly, um, the Sunday Times Literary Awards is such a testament to the culture of reading and gathering and this communion of book lovers. Um, and it's such a privilege to be here tonight. I'd really like to say thank you to Sunday Times and to Exclusive Books. Um, I think of everyone, they are the biggest supporters of writing in this country. Um, and I'm really, really grateful to them, to Jennifer, uh, to, the whole, to the whole team. Uh, it's been a wonderful evening at the Sunday Times Literary Awards tonight. Uh, a particularly great pleasure for me because Johnny Steinberg won the Alan Payton Award. Uh, my only sorrow is that he couldn't be here tonight. But such a great event uh, to come to this every year and to see people from the literary landscape, whether they're authors or publishers or booksellers, uh, couldn't ask for a better event. And I just want to say, keep writing, guys. Please, will you continue to write? Because I love this job and I want to do it for a long time to come.